Linda? Good day, Victor. Hi, how are you? Good. Um, hear me, this is Linda. Weren't you alive yesterday? Oh, I'm still alive. I'm just, uh, just visiting. That's nice. So, do all dead people just sort of hang around after they die? I mean, I thought you'd have to go somewhere special. Well, it um, depends on whether you've uh, finished with your life properly or... I'm waiting for my wife. After she dies, we're going to the Waikato. Where's he going? He doesn't seem very concerned about you. Come on. You know, sometimes I wish I'd died with you that night. Yeah, me too. Come, is it? Thanks. Very good friend. Oh, very good granddaughter. I'm not actually family. Well, no. Well, no, I'm not, but I mean, it's... She's supposed to be psychic. Hmm? Who's that? Let's get out of here. Granny, it's me, Linda. Linda? Oh, my God, Linda, what's happening? I'm okay, Granny. I've just left my body. Oh, that's an awful thing to do. Who's there? A picture? Oh, my God, the old troublemaker, eh? What are you up to, young man? Mrs. Malloy! Mrs. Malloy, you've got a visitor. Good morning. I can hear you quite well, dear. Ah, oh, that's better. At least you're sensible. My name's Ben. I'm a friend of Linda's. Your granddaughter? Well, you should never let her do these silly things. Granny Ben doesn't know we're here. What's that, dear? I didn't say anything. <laughs> now listen, listen to me, young man. <laughs> Look, I, I've, I've come to talk to you because I need some advice. You see, the thing is that Linda, well, she's left her body. Well, why aren't you at home looking after her? That's what I want to know. She hasn't changed, has she? I heard that. Now listen to me, Victor. No, my name's Ben. You know how hard it's been for Linda to forget you. Forget me? Well, she doesn't have to now. She can forget Ben instead. Well, at least he's alive. <laughs>